Thanks, I am Chris Lansett, and I'm delighted to be here for the first time with so many other virgins. It's a, make me feel a little more relaxed. This is an essay for a book that I'm very um, early on in the stages of writing about Sligo Creek in Silver Spring, Maryland. The title of this essay is called Double Homicide on Sligo Creek. My wife and I tiptoe through the sun rays, exploring our beloved Sligo Creek in Wheaton, Maryland. We bask in the morning melody of songbirds and giggle at the sight of a red-breasted merganter repeatedly splashing his head into a pond like he's bobbing for apples. A flash of a great blue heron resting on the ground crosses the periphery of my binoculars. Our favorite bird, awesome, or is it? I train my bins on the majestic creature, or at least what is left of it. I race over and study the carcass. I'm only a novice naturalist, but I sense that this bird hasn't died of natural causes. I wretch, then linger in multiple moments of silence before I leave. The day darkens when we get home and learn that volunteer trash removers report finding a dead great blue heron by the stormwater ponds closer to where we live. Winoka and I most certainly know this bird. The location is our favorite spot on the creek. We have spent countless ecstatic hours there watching herons hunt. Every moment we enjoy in their company, becoming our newest favorite memory. We grieve. One day, two dead great blue herons on Sligo Creek, and these are just the birds we know about. The murder weapon of choice, plastic pollution. A local photographer promptly shares images that he captured of the still living bird. Shreds of black plastic, a garbage bag maybe, clamped its beak shut. It was doomed, he tells me. Spirited conversation shoots through our community on listservs, social media, private emails, and late night eulogies. Ideas for how to respond pour into our watershed like the pollution that floods it after every rain. Install trash traps on the creek, organize more creek cleanups, work with the county to stop more trash from escaping garbage trucks. These are all excellent ideas and we need to utilize every one of them. But that's not the best perspective for viewing plastic pollution. The truth about the heron murders, calling them deaths is disingenuous, is that focusing on what to do about plastic pollution after it fills our creeks, rivers, bays, and oceans, is looking at the problem from the wrong end of the telescope. We as a community in Sligo Creek and we as a nation must turn our gaze on ourselves and the choices we make as consumers. We can't simply point to the trash as the scapegoat for killing our waterways and all the creatures that call them home. Of course, plucking trash out of the creek feels great, but the act also serves as a pacifier. It soothes us into thinking that if we can just round up enough trash, the pollution problem will be solved. It won't. Band-Aids can't stop hemorrhaging. We must accept the fact that we are the ones responsible for creating this problem by rewarding big plastic producers and all the businesses, grocery stores, restaurants, retailers, that serve as environmental drug dealers who are more than happy to fuel our plastic poison addiction. What does this mean? Let's stop the needless plastic from ever being produced. It starts with us making more conscious and strategic choices every time we consider what items we're dropping into our grocery carts. Stop buying so much bottled water. Don't put a single piece of fruit in a plastic bag by itself. If you order takeout and you see plastic cutlery in the bag, hand it back. You've got enough forks and knives at home. There are a ton of other things we can do too including supporting national legislation to reduce plastic pollution. You can visit ionsligocreek.com and find campaigns any community can implement right now. We must open our eyes to the reality that our decisions lead directly from grocery store carts and takeout menus to pollution that chokes our watersheds and wildlife. No matter how well intentioned we may be about handling our trash after we brought it home, we're gonna let way too much of it get away from us. Use a plastic bag or buy a plastic bottle. Kill a bird. This is the reality, but it's also one that we can change if we make more conscious decisions about what to buy. More dead great blue herons will wash up on the shores of my favorite creek and yours if we don't.